originally never wanted to be a pastor, but um, it was that sense of calling that came onto my life. Matt Tricker, I'm Pastor Matt Tricker in the South Wales Valleys in a little village called Pentrabark. Got on the plane, went over, and it was just mind blowing. And to go over and live with the Mennonites and the Amish uh, and to see a simple way of living and how they lived out their Christianity, um, I couldn't ignore a, an opportunity like that. And how we're to be peacekeepers in this world. That's what really stood out to me. Why do people suffer? You know, when I, you know, when I can remember like being back in the States and I'm out on the streets and I'm, it's late at night and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm talking with maybe say different prostitutes and different drug dealers and I'm listening to their stories of torture and abuse. How can I put, and, and journeying, trying to journey with some of these people in helping them. And it's like, God, why don't you break in? Does God want those sort of things to happen? I don't think he does. Can't force God. <laughs> and it's difficult, it's painful. Yeah. God, where, where are you? And in that, you just have to walk by faith. Remember what God has done in the past, that he is there, he is not silent, he is in full control, even when we are not. 2020 really was a, a, a tester. Um, because you had to become a little bit more creative. You had to think out of the box. So I ended up doing a lot more um, videos and film on YouTube to try and connect with people because people were feeling so isolated and cut off. Uh, and as Christians, we, we value fellowship and our relationships with one another. Um, so that's been quite difficult. And I do think when there is silence, God sees our faith in that. Even if it's so tiny, so small, God sees that little chink of faith and he is glorified. Into Uganda. I mean, when we go there, sometimes we're sleeping out in the villages. They've got nothing. Over here, we've got everything. And as a Christian going into those situations, what I'm tr yes, I, I'm bringing aid, I'm bringing help into those situations. But more importantly, I feel is you're, you're bringing hope. So over there, you, you, you put your faith into practice. You, you really believe what the Bible says. And I love those all night prayer meetings where the drums are going and they're dancing and praising God and, and calling out to God to come down. Seeing and knowing the tangible presence of God, I come back to the UK and that's what I want for this church. So over 30 years of of uh, a life dedicated to faith. Do you have any regrets? No regrets at all. No, it's been the best life ever.